I'm going to take you on a tour of all the features that make living in the Blue Wonder extra comfortable. The first is the living, the main living space. And one of, um, one of the ways to feel at home on the road is to have some of your favorite things with you. Well, this is my joy shelf, otherwise known as the library or the $10 bookcase from Dollar General. On the joy shelf are the, my books, my games, puzzles, a tambourine, a battery, and a little altar. Now, there's a feature on the altar that if you come on in nice and close and take a look, what is that? I bet everybody knows what this is. <laughs> I think every van lifer could have a tape measure on their altar because this little tool has made so much of this possible. And the number of times you go into a store and need to measure something to see if it will fit in your tiny little home on wheels. So that has its place of honor on my altar. All right. Now, moving on to how I, how the books are stabilized on the library because a home on wheels is moving. It's bumpy, it's swerving, it's topping suddenly. Well, bungee cords. These are magic. If they're the right size, then they're gonna be taut enough around whatever you're securing. So that is how these uh, books are all secured and they don't fall off when I stop suddenly swerve or anything like that. And up here, there's a Velcro strap. I didn't have a bungee cord, so I just used a Velcro strap up here. A lot of improvisation goes a long way. Now, the kitchen. The kitchen is full of features. This kitchen has over-the-counter storage, and under the counter storage, under here. This door is to this cabinet, and this door over here is also to the cabinet. This cabinet is, was designed to sit on its end. The end is here. But I turned it on its side. You know where I found it? At a store for used baby furniture used children's furniture five dollars i was in the store with the handy dandy tape measure just looked at it turned my head sideways and realized oh my goodness that's the kitchen cabinet that's it and uh, i went out measured the van and it was going to be a perfect fit so for five dollars it's all set they um the doors serve as counters. The uh, cutting surface is Velcroed to the door and it just closes up and is held by another piece of Velcro right there on each side. Very, very easy to do, very easy. And I think it looks nice too. All right, now for the extension to the counter. This is a leftover a piece of wood remnant left over from some renovation. On the edge of it is an aluminum RV shelf bracket. Aluminum RV shelf bracket. It just screws in very easily. This piece of wood has the shelf bracket on each side. This way, it can attach to the cabinet in two positions. It can attach like this, the long way, and slide a bit forward and back, depending on where you want to position it, which is very nice for taking items out and laying them down, making a morning beverage, that sort of thing. And then also, it can be attached this way which is more bar style. And with this little dowel, it can just be secured like that. And what I do then is I just place maybe my food or 
my phone or something I'm, I'm writing, just something small that doesn't need a lot of space, and I'll just eat on this. Now, sometimes that's not big enough. What do we do then? What we do is, of course, we go under the couch. I mean, what else would you do? Under the couch is stored another remnant from a renovation. This is a former pantry shelf. And you can see it has this um, curved corner, in, in, inside curve, which actually has come in very handy. This also has the aluminum shelf brackets on the side and on one end, just like that because it can be seated in two positions. It, this can be seated like this, so that you have some width to your counter for food prep or cooking. And notice the inset here is positioned perfectly to give me access to the, the front of the car as well as to the restroom. So I don't feel confined. It feels open. Another great feature is that now I can sit bar style again by placing the table like this. And there is the bar style. Notice that the curve is here now, which is perfect for moving right here. All right, there's yet another feature. Well, what do you do if you love to do puzzles or art with larger pieces of paper or any or crafts with anything where you require more surface? Is you, you do, you attach an extension. But how do you do that in a small space? like this. Like that. And now there is an extension. Look at this width. It is the perfect size for a puzzle. This is the sleeping closet. The clothing that is in here is only for sleeping in so that at night, it's an easy reach for me to grab layers. I can take off layers, add layers, if the temperature is fluctuating in the night, and that way I'm, cold, I'm warm enough and cool enough. There's also storage for my toiletries in this one little bag. It has lotion, conditioning spray, hairbrush, and other items for getting ready in the morning and ready at night. There are side pockets to this. This is a shoe uh, rack. Each There are three of them here. They each have one row or column, one column of cubbies. The, the sides of them have these, these little clear netting holders. And so that's a great place to store your little things. The regular clothes are here on the left in a completely different kind of storage system. This is a, a pack that you can add to your suitcase. You can just take it right off and add it to your suitcase. Uh, and in here, I just have my regular clothes. Those are the, the, that's the entirety of the closet in the Blue Wonder. There is overflow and seasonal switching over inventory in the attic. To get the bed back into couch mode, it's very simple. There's a strap attached to the center, right underneath the cushions, that gives a little extra leverage. You just pull on that, push it forward, get it all the way to where it's going to lock. 
and it locks with these um, little gate latches on either side. Just poof the cushions. And it's back in couch mode. How's that? So this is the restroom. Uh, underneath the curtains for the front. These curtains are attached to Velcro right at here behind the sun, the moon roof. Then I just take those off and voila, there is a three and a half gallon bucket under there, not a five gallon bucket. I want to be really, really clear about that. The five gallon bucket in a minivan is too tall for me. I, I my head would go right through the roof. So. A three and a half gallon buffet bucket is the perfect height and the, everything happens in the three and a half gallon bucket. Easy. It has a Loctite lid uh, and I just, when I'm traveling, I just lock it up tight. No problem. It gets covered up with this, um, this blanket and the two curtains and it's done. This is the way, how you get into the basement of the minivan camper. I just move the items and this can happen in couch mode or in uh, bed mode. I just move the items this way. In couch mode, um, I would also be mo moving them. And then it lifts up. There's storage both underneath here. This is where the seat back seats used to be. And there's storage here under the lids. This is just more shoe um, holders for the bag of doors that I screwed in to the bottom of the lids and it holds flat items. So come on in and take a look. There are cards that are, have sentimental value. There are some favorite CDs and just other items that are easy to store that are flat. And so they just, they just pull out like this. Underneath, there is a whole world under here for those magical campfires with all the other nomads. There's also this six gallon jug of water. This is an emergency supply. I actually don't use this. Uh, it's peace of mind so that if I was stranded anywhere, if um, water just wasn't available, then I know I'm set with six gallons of water. There's a faucet here, a marine faucet, for getting that water out of the jug so it, you don't have to lift it. And that's the basement. This is a rooftop carrier. Inside, there is a suitcase full of things that are extra supplies, extra electronics, extra um, blanket, a, an extra pillow. Then there's also uh, some more tools. There is a there's a hacksaw. There's a jigsaw. There there's some extra plywood. I'm ready for anything. <laughs> the front passenger seat of the minivan camper is, um, is another really valuable storage space. This is how I use it. You can see in the door there's some extra water, an umbrella, the broom. On the passenger seat are things that I need when I'm, that I like to have handy when I'm driving. So there's this container of fidget toys because I, it helps, I really like fidgeting. So I've got a spinner in here. I've got um, a squeezy ball. 
a hacky sack that's nice to toss around. We even got some beads to, to play with like this. And it just helps me on those long drives. The jacket is really easy to grab. It's right here. There is a day pack. This is a backpack that has a pink lining, which is great because you can find everything in it. And then under here, under the where the feet go, there is storage for a backpacking backpack that has more th emergency supplies in it than my day pack does. So it can be a challenge to do the GPS and listen to music and be controlling it on the phone at the same time. So what I like to do is have two phones and that means two holders. So the GPS goes here and the music phone goes here. And that way the GPS is just constant. I don't have to worry about messing up my GPS screen or anything like that. And I can just control my music really easily right there on that holder. And then I store the uh, covers for the windows on each side of the, pass the driver and passenger seats. And they just fit in. Now these are, I'm the kind of person who, if I'm painting a room and other people are painting the room, I'm the one with the most paint on at the end of the day. So my window covers are not glamorous. You can see there's a lot of duct tape, right? <laughs> and I'm not a stealth, stealth camper. So I'm not worried about blend, about no light coming through whatsoever to reveal that I'm in here. They're not a perfect fit. But what makes them work is this little clip. And it just tucks into the rubber gasket. And then on the right, I just tuck the edge down in here and it stays up just fine. There's this kind of window covering for all the windows. I love this table. This is the same table that is used inside the van and it can be used outside the van with the same kind of bracket, the RV shelf bracket that's made of aluminum. It just fastens like that. Isn't that fantastic? So you put it on and the way it's held up is with this adjustable shower rod. There you go. And now you can cook outside. You can stand out here and lean on something. <laughs> and uh, I just love it. I was able to cook out here while the ladies were having a campfire right nearby. And I was able to be a part of things and cook my dinner at the same time. And this is the Blue Wonder. I hope you've enjoyed this tour. If you found it helpful or entertaining, please hit the like button subscribe for more videos, and make a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about how this minivan camper, the Blue Wonder, is set up, and if you have any ideas for how I can improve it. And I hope that you enjoy your journey.